You might want to call this the supermodel dog. Why? It's hairdo, of course. Long and lavish and perfectly parted right down the middle of its back. And they have that flowing coat all the way to the ground where you can't even hardly see their feet. It's a hardy breed that is lively and intelligent and whose body is longer than it is tall. Usually weighs in under 20 pounds. It's a very popular dog because they're so adorable. The Lhasa Apso is a diva in its own right, who's loyal to those closest to them, yet wary of strangers. They like to deal with their general family. They don't like outsiders all that much unless socialized. And it's this Lhasa Apso alpha-type dog who does what he wants, when he wants. They kind of have a little stubborn streak. Mm -hmm. The Lhasa Apso is a very old, ancient breed that originated in the tucked-away mountains of the Himalayas. For centuries, the dogs were confined just to Tibet, where holy men and nobles kept the little dogs in isolation, where they performed as watchdogs. And in Tibet, they called the dog Apso Senki, which literally means Bark Lion Sentinel Dog. It would bark to alert lion its appearance in Sentinel Standing Guard. It wasn't until the 1930s that the Lhasa Apso made it here to the United States after being given to us by the Dalai Lama himself. It is a royalty-type dog. It's a dog that loves to sit on the couch. It's a dog that, if you don't exercise, it's not going to care, but you want to make sure you do it anyway. They're great dogs. They're prized. The Lhasa Apso's coat is a feature you just can't miss. Double-layered, long, heavy, and coarse, and covers its entire body. These guys have this long hair that just droops over their eyes and droops right to the floor they can rapidly become a dust muck and its fur comes in a bevy of colors although most often seen are gold cream and honey which highlight the dog's dark facial accents and if showing the Lhasa Apso its coat should be kept long but most families like to do a puppy cut which is just a general uniform clip all over and they look just as cute Another interesting quality is this dog's signature tail that flips up right over its back. Its ears, which hang low, are covered in feathered fur. They are super sharp and can easily pinpoint danger. But this little dog's voice is what makes owners stand up and take notice. They're very smart, so if there's a problem and they notice something wrong, they're going to let you know. Meet Lulu from New Jersey. She's a typical Lhasa Apso with a big barking voice. I not only worship this dog, I, I love this dog so much. There isn't another dog in the world that would be able to do what Lulu has done. Hal and his wife Peggy adore little Lulu along with all the neighborhood dogs. Super Lulu? Lulu always does wonderful things. Everybody loves Lulu. She's queen of the neighborhood. But life for Lulu hasn't always been so easy. When she was just seven years old, she ruptured two discs in her back, which prevented her from being able to walk. The vet told me that her spine was so badly damaged that they could not even operate on her. They didn't guarantee any success. The vets told Hal he should put Lulu down. Hal said, no way. As long as she wasn't in pain, putting her down was not an option. Hal got Lulu into therapy and got her a wheelchair. Lulu is a very feisty female. She was just determined that this wasn't going to stop her, and she knew I was going to be there for the long haul. Eventually, hard work paid off, and little Lulu began to walk again. I had a neighbor who said to me, what happened to that dog that you had in the wheels? I said, this is that dog. She said, oh my God, it's a miracle. But Lulu's story does not end here. When we come back, see how Miracle Lulu became Hero Lulu. Everyone, including Hal, could not believe it when his little Lulu began to walk again. But that remarkable development is not the end of this miracle story. Just a few years ago, Lulu snapped into action when her natural instincts woke her up and told her to wake the family. Everyone was snuggled into bed, sleeping soundly, when Lulu knew there was a serious problem. I could hear Lulu on the edge of the bed going, Aah! and I thought there must be something down there. 
Lulu was right. The house was on fire. I think her heightened sense of smell and hearing uh, indicated to her that something was going on down there. Came down the steps. There were swirls of smoke coming up the stairs. When I got down to the bottom landing, there were flames shooting across the kitchen. I screamed to call 911, grab Lulu, we've got to get out of the house. The fire began in the furnace room and destroyed the entire right side of the home, including the bedroom Hal, Peggy, and Lulu had been sleeping in. Within minutes, the local volunteer fire department arrived and got things under control. Yes, thank God for the dog. In this case, Lulu was the smoke detector early warning device. Today, Hal and Peggy are living in their newly renovated home and feel Lulu's act of heroism was just purely payback for what they had done for their little dog a few years earlier. I had saved her life, and now she turned around and saved our lives. So I guess we're even, although I give her a few more points. And so this little dog can pretty much live anywhere as long as those they live with act responsibly. Okay. This is definitely a dog that I would recommend for city living and small apartment condo living. It's a healthy breed that can actually live well into its early 20s. In fact, the oldest living Lhasa Apso was 29 years of age. So pretty hardy breed. Sometimes they'll have hair growing inside their ear canal, and that can predispose them to getting ear infections. And these dogs don't shed much, which makes them a good choice for allergy sufferers. As for grooming, it can be a lot of work, depending on the cut. It's going to have to go to the groomer and get groomed on a regular basis. It's not brushed and combed. It's going to tangle and knot up easily. As for training, it's a good idea to start early. And the Lhasa Apso makes a good pet for a family that's less active. The Lhasa Apso would be great for elderly people because they really don't require a lot of exercise so in general this dog can live pretty much anywhere it's a healthy breed that usually lives a long time grooming is very important along with training and overall the Lhasa Apso makes a great family pet I love you too Lulu I do love you so to recap the border collie is one of the smartest breeds on the planet they were bred to tend livestock on tough terrain today they make a difficult dog if you live in the city but a wonderful pet if you love frisbee the chinese crested often wins ugly dog contests many are born hairless but for a small plume on their head and feet the english mastiff is the largest breed of dog on earth one tipped the scales at a whopping 343 pounds they're beautiful, lazy dogs that love nothing better than a lounge on the couch. The Italian Greyhound is a shrunken version of the larger Greyhound. They're faster than your average dog, but they're also frail and require extra care in cold weather. Some are even litter box trained to avoid the cold. The Lhasa Apso is an ancient Asian breed known for its distinctive bark, who was bred to guard Buddhist temples. Remember, every breed of dog is different, and individuals may not adhere strictly to breed standards. If you're bringing a dog into your family, do your homework. Check out PetFinder.com to search for specific breeds near you, and choose your next best friend wisely.